Everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein. I'm here tonight with Andrew Bolotowski, and this is uh, another episode of The Facts, an episode of The Facts. And, and this is uh, the character, the central character in this story, the only character in the story, really, is her name is Phoebe Toast, and her nickname most of her life has been Baby. Uh, baby is she's she's healthy, she's athletic, she's productive, and she's 78 years old. Her, her eyes are very deep set, uh, and a, a, there's a slight cataract that gives him this lovely glow. <laughs> Baby has been dreaming most of her life. She's, she's, she lives in a dreamy world in her head. And uh, she's currently chastising herself because she thinks, you know, it, it's, it was a useful defense, but she should have modified it sooner and, and, and or at least more often, you know, sooner, more often, more carefully. She's a woman. The younger version of Phoebe, um, she 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 looked to be admired. She, she was she was a stiffer person, and she she really was kind of flying on bad power a lot of the time. And uh, she wore she wore very short skirts and close fitting tops. And um, but now she's evolved into into a into a into a more boyish look. Uh, she wears jumpsuits and these kind of square cut dresses, and and she's got her hair is cut very close, uh, but it's it's dyed blue and pink in different places. It's really beautiful. <laughs> Say on the perfect. So 
I want to talk again, Purian. This is a, I'm fascinated by this word temporarily, and it says uh, it says it's. Uh, I looked up his the dictionary definition: having or encouraging an excessive interest in sexual matters. That certainly has been true of Phoebe for most of her life. Um, she's she's interested. Uh, uh, and here's the sentence they used is, she'd been the subject of much pure curiosity. It doesn't go the other way, apparently. Well, not in this particular sentence. And the synonyms are salacious, licentious, voyeuristic, uh, and uh, lascivious. I saw him on the coat floor. His wife had walked away. And he stood and stared at me. Is he mean or unclean? certain that he's not. Let's try this even better criteria. For the top knot, I used my head. That's what I'll say for now. And then, in the end, I found the postman. Oh, say that is I'm so glad you always say. And, and I echo, me too, me too. Caesar's fire and empty streets, cheap wool, a real salami. There you go. I saw him, did you? That's why we don't. And so? She, she hopes that her hatred uh, and, and her adoration of men uh, isn't showing. <laughs> um, so, so baby's thinking, she's saying, you know, men have more choices. So how does this work? How does this work? Because everybody needs to, to have the hard-to-find kind of soulmate person. I mean, and they're hard to find. And, um, but she's thinking that there's, the men have this figured out this, this fallback position uh, where if they treat their children, their, their, their partners sort of like children, baby, you know, um, they will thereby they extend their palette of choices. And um, um, so, so, so they, wouldn't, they wouldn't so much need to find a partner that, you know, that would give them sucre as much as they would a partner that they could manage.
Recently, uh, in real life, a handsome man flirted with me, and he flirted with me because he needed my help. And of course, of course it made me angry because I felt like he was mocking me. And, and then I thought, is this a taste of what men feel toward women? Uh, this, that, of course, women must play this role, you know, the, the suck up to you kind of role, but, but uh, um, oh God, it's so mean to sex workers. It's December 1st, 2016. Donald Trump is heading towards the White House. I saw a picture of him recently, one of the pictures was these two young women kissing him on either cheek, and there he is in the center. No, press on. Three, two, 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 fight in bed. The pillow on four. Distract more people. Stick with it. Press on it lightly. Phoebe a.k.a. Baby, she has played the role, she has played the, the competitive role with other women on more than one occasion. She didn't like it, though. I mean, it's, 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 it's a nasty role. I mean, she, she's played this role, like, in, in a restaurant where, where uh, you're, you're, you're sitting there and there's a couple and the man in the restaurant's looking at you and, and you know, you, 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 like you take it in, you know, but it's it's empowering, but it's embittering at the same time. It's it's um, um, so anyway. Our Phoebe, who was just kind of playing along with the games that were in place when she came on the block, is now, uh, or as she perceived them to be, is now more awake, and she's taken back, turned off by her own aggression. Phoebe, um, Phoebe is, is, is not a, a working artist, but 
Uh, she made her living in, in pretty conventional ways. Uh, she's retired now. Uh, but uh, she sang a little, and she hung around jazz musicians most of her life in jazz clubs, which are ha really quite their own culture, sort of. And um, but she she was always seen as a singer, as as uh, as an amateur. She was labeled um, uh, not good enough, and it, and she accepted this label. She thought, you know, they they know what they're talking about. At least that that's the way she presented it. I mean, I I I, I can't believe that she really accepted it, but. I don't know. I don't know the alternative. I don't know really how she handled it inside of her. You know, it. It. I figure she accepted the label because you know it was presumptuous, dangerous, you know, unpleasant not to. You know, there there were worse labels. Um, who do you think you are? 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 Who are you? Who do you think you are? Who are you? Who do you think you are? 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 You got something to say? Who do you think you are? Bunch of bullies. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? That's how I stay in place. I get bullied, so I bully right back at the edge. That's Trump, right? <laughs> Much better than you. Babies, you know, grown older. One thing that happens when you grow older is you 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 look like what you've lived through, and that seems to be a turnoff. You know, you're no longer this kind of baby-faced person that that or more baby-faced. I think what baby-faced means is you kind of you can't see s as much about what you're what you it's what it's like to be you. You know, and uh, but as you get older, it becomes a little clearer what's you know <laughs> what's gone on, and um, so and and. And so at this point in baby's life, she doesn't, she doesn't excite much purient interest. She used to go out of her way to excite purient interest because it's purient interest that gives you a lot of choices. Of course, there could be really lousy choices, but there, there's more of them. You know, there are more colors that, that you can play with. There's more, there's more stuff. There's more people that pay attention to you. And, um, but such is her lot in life at this point. Uh, she's picking more carefully or being picked more carefully and and she's not sure whether this may be better she's not sure she's really not sure or well, she really is sure it is better shoot Till they send her to the concentration camp or something. To end the world as you know it. Press one. To drive through two. To evaporate three. Love an enemy. Four, distract the teacher. Five, earn a living. Six, 
get you. Eight. What happened to seven? Undo. Nine. Unjust? Is it unjust enough for you? So, baby, like, like a lot of uh, women, uh, had was raped at one point in her life, and maybe more than once. I'm not sure. And, and but certainly when she was younger, in her late teens or middle teens, and uh, now at this point in her life, she's wondering why, how, how this has actually affected her, because uh, you know, it's just kind of you just take these things, I mean, don't we all take this kind of these, these slings and arrows and, and move on? You know, sometimes they're, they're, they're too noticeable, but if you, if you have all kinds of ways, like women do, to put aside these, these, this sexual abuse, put it on the side, because it's so common and, and, uh, and it's, it's tied up with, tied up with who they think they're supposed to be and what, what works and what doesn't work, and so, you know, you just, you just don't, you know, you just don't, you just, and so, and so, and she was thinking about, she's been thinking about uh, why, for instance, why she didn't tell anybody, because she never told anybody, and, and she didn't tell her parents, and, and her parents were, she's, she's pretty sure they would have been sympathetic, but they would have been sympathetic sort of like doctors, you know, <laughs> they would have been, they would have been cold, kind of cold sympathetic that they took for calm, you know, they thought this is what you have to do to handle these, you know, emotional situations, and, and, and she was, she did not want that experience. She You have to react, but if you react, you're in danger. You know, it's real rock and hard place stuff. But if you don't react, you you, you get crazy, or you you know you you you, you, you do yourself harm, as well as you do harm to the people around you. You, I think, you because you know you're a liar in their midst. They have things they want to talk back about too. Don't talk back. Don't talk back. Don't talk back. But I need to. I have to. I want to. I I can't. I can't stop myself. I can't stop myself. I can't stop myself. I, I have to. I have to say something. 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 I can't just take this. I have to say something. That are born to be respected. Press down on the human race. Press down on them. Press down on them. Press down on them like a Cuban sandwich. Press down on them. Make them really, make them really flat. Make them flatten them out. Make them really flat. Make them.
Robert Kennedy said, right now there's some people protecting their water rights, people, Native Americans protecting their water rights. And Robert Kennedy said they're, they're in the right legally. They're in the right legally, and the state of North Dakota is sending out troops to stop them from doing what's they're, they're, in, they're on the right side of the law, of the laws that were written. The company's on the wrong side, and the federal government's not stepping in to change this. It's completely illegal what this company's doing. What? 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 Why? Why? Well, come on, come on, come on. Phoebe's going to become a runway model in the next 10 years. And she's going to run up and down the runway and show off the clothes and say, here, 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 aren't they nice? Aren't they nice? Look at this, look at me, look, it could be you. Oh, yes, it could be any of us. It could be, it could be, it would be, it has been, it will be, I don't know. So here, listen, ladies and gentlemen, bon voyage, goodbye for now from me, and I'm speaking for Andrew too. Good night from Lenore and you. I the facts. Good night.